questions really uh, because of your interest i have separated the cycles uh, questions and gave you as a separate set out of diversity so any one of you tried it do you have any questions on it So I didn't yet try it. I'll ask questions if I have any. Okay, okay. So try it. Okay. Try it. And uh, if you have doubts, bring it to me. Okay. Doubts mean now questioning. In questioning, there will be certain uh, ideas additionally gained when you are answering those questions. So anyway, anyway, the life cycle lesson is over. So today we need to start the nutrition part, plant nutrition. So when you consider plant nutrition, I gave you a tube. Okay. So we are going to first discuss the tube. Here is the tube. So what is nutrition has been explained to you here. Nutrition is the process of acquiring raw materials and energy from environment for metabolic activities of organisms. What are the components obtained? Raw materials and energy. Raw materials and energy. From where they obtain it? Environment. From the environment. For what purpose they obtain it? Metabolic. Activities. activities okay those metabolic activities are related to growth development and reproduction those metabolic activities are related to three major events in the plants or animals or microorganisms. What are the three major events related to metabolic activities? Growth, development, and reproduction. Clear? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. In the plants, the main mode of nutrition is autotrophic nutrition. Okay. Plants are photosynthetic. You know that one. They use carbon dioxide, water like inorganic materials to synthesize glucose-like organic food using light energy. That is what you study under the heading photosynthesis. Clear? So, why plants are pointed as autotrophs? Because they synthesize organic materials from carbon dioxide and inorganic materials. So any organism who synthesizes 
organic materials from carbon dioxide and inorganic materials can be classified as autotroph clear yes sir good in the autotrophs actually there are two divisions one photo autotroph other one chemo autotroph what are the two divisions what are the two divisions photo autotroph photo autotroph and chemo autotroph photo autotrophs synthesize organic materials from co2 and inorganic materials using light energy chemo autotrophs synthesize organic materials from co2 and inorganic materials using chemical energy clear yes point it is point it is in plants we don't observe chemo autotrophic nutrition instead in plants we observe only photo autotrophic nutrition are you clear Yes, sir. Hmm. So, photo the word indicates you light. Photo mean what is it? What's the meaning? Photo light. what is the meaning? Photo mean it indicates light, right? So, using light energy. That is the meaning. Autotroph is indicating synthesizing organic materials from CO2 and inorganic materials. Clear? Clear, yes, sir. Good. In the plants, in the plants, in addition to this there is another nutrition type that nutrition type is called by the name that nutrition type is called by the name symbiosis symbiosis in symbiosis two organisms belonging to two species live in close contact how many species involved in symbiosis two two okay in this one or both will be plants because we are studying here symbiosis related to whom plant yeah. now you and your parents are living in close contact with each other yes or no yes sir yes can we describe it as symbiosis you and your parent are living in close contact with each other can we call it a symbiosis
Yes, sir. Can't. Can't. Why? Uh, only one species. Only one species. Two organisms living together is not enough. They should belong to. They should belong to. Uh, two species. Two species. Clear. Yes, sir. Right. In symbiosis, there are three categories. What are the three categories? Mutualism. Mm. Parasitism. 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 Commensalism. In mutualism, it is a symbiotic relationship in which both participants are benefited. If A and B are living together in mutual relationship, it is beneficial to A as well it is beneficial to B. B. When both the parties benefit only, you have to call it, what's it? Mutualism. In the mutualism, one of the example you are given is, what's it? Legume root nodules with nitrogen fixing bacteria. I am going to take that one in the hand to give you an explanation how they are mutually uh, benefiting each other. Okay? How they are mutually benefiting each other. Okay? If you take legume, root, nodule, All these are root nodules. Okay. In the root nodule, why bacteria lives? I had a picture, suddenly it's not coming. That was a nice picture. Anyway, in the root nodule, let's go for it. Can't waste the time. My children say this is the root nodule. Okay. This is the root nodule. In the center part of it, you 
can see the bacteria living. What is this? What is this? Root nodule having bacteria in the middle. Okay. Surrounding this bacteria, there will be a pigment ring. This pigment ring is called leg chemoglobin. What is the name given to this? Tell me. What is the name given to this? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, leg hemoglobin. This leg hemoglobin okay, absorbs, absorbs oxygen diffusing into the root nodule. Understood? What is the work of it? What is the work of it? Absorbs oxygen gas diffusing into home root nodule. Due to this absorption, this environment will be an oxygen free environment. All the other gases will go in. Understood? Who will not reach the bacteria? Who will not reach the bacteria? When air is diffusing, leg hemoglobin, now air is diffusing through this. Okay? When air is diffusing up to this level, oxygen will be there. Nitrogen will be there. Carbon dioxide will be there. But when the air passes the leg hemoglobin, what is the gas missing? What is the gas missing? Mm. Tell me. Oxygen. Oxygen gas. Remember, this bacteria, the bacteria here, Rhizobium bacteria. Correct? In the nitrogen fixing bacteria, if this is the nitrogen fixing bacteria, for nitrogen fixation, there is an enzyme called, what is the name of the enzyme? Nitrogen. Nitrogenase. Nitrogenase is Oxygen sensitive, that means, okay, it is oxygen sensitive. If oxygen is available, it will be deactivated. Understood? Understood? Yes. Oh, okay, deactivated by whom? Oxygen. Oxygen. So such an enzyme is important for the nitrogen fixing process. Correct? So can we give nitrogen, sorry, oxygen to this environment? Tell me. 
No, sir. So, what is the enzyme important for nitrogen fixation? Nitrogenase. Nitrogenase. What is the weakness of the nitrogenase enzyme? They will be de deactivated. By they oxygen. will be deactivated by oxygen. So, in what kind of environment nitrogenase can well function? In an oxygen deficient environment. In an oxygen deficient environment or an oxygen free environment, correct? Yes. Yes. Sir. In the root nodule, how this oxygen free environment is created? By leg hemoglobin. By leg hemoglobin. Leg hemoglobin will absorb. Remember, nitrogenase enzyme to fix the nitrogen gas should contact with nitrogen. Understood? Without contacting with nitrogen, can it fix the nitrogen? Can't. Can't. No. So, nitrogen should be contacted, but in that area, oxygen should not be there. So, by developing the leg hemoglobin, legume plant is supporting the home. Rhizobium bacteria to fix the to fix the nitrogen. Okay. Second, it leaves rhizobium bacteria is a heterotrophic bacteria. It get food from the leg from the legume plant. It gets Residents to stay protected in the root nodule, all these benefits are there for home. Rhizobium. Rhizobium from the legume plant. On the other hand, the nitrogen it fixes ultimately used by home. The plant. Understood? Yes, sir. The nitrogen it fixes is ultimately benefited by the plant. So, one side it is plant is benefited. So, what are the benefits for? What are the benefits for rhizobium? Number one, okay. Nitrogenase enzyme is provided with oxygen. Okay, I use that word. I like that word. Deficient environment. Correct? Yes. Second, okay. Obtain organic food and residence. What are the benefits for plant? Plants benefit of the fixed nitrogen after Death of bacteria. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So, both are benefiting. This is the story behind home. Rhizobium. Okay? No, yeah. Mutualism is one example only I have completed. Correct? Is it the only example you have been given? Acutute. Excuse me, sir. I have a small doubt. Yeah. 
sir, in the structure we have drawn, is it the uh, cross section area of a root? Or root a nodule. Uh, it's sorry. the cross section area of the root nodule. Ah, okay. Inside so, root, if you cut the root, I had a picture, I can't I didn't really show that one. Inside the root nodule, only you will notice home. The right. black hemoglobin, not in other place. Okay. So that black dots are uh, the rhizobium bacteria. Rhizobium bacteria. Okay, so thank you. Actually, in the whole syllabus, all these stories are there, missing one. The word leg hemoglobin is not there. All the other stories are there, understood? Yes. So I included that word only. What is it? Leg hemoglobin. So if you cut a root nodule, you will see a ring of red color. What is that red color ring? If you cut the root nodule and see it inside, you will see a ring of red color. What is that red color ring? Leg hemoglobin. Leg, okay, leg hemoglobin. There are many other nitrogen fixing uh, microorganisms. They use different strategies to create oxygen efficient environments. So, can rhizobium fix nitrogen without contribution of legume plant? And no, sir. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, nitrogen. Uh, because oxygen. it cannot get a oxygen deficient environment. Oxygen deficient environment. If we give an oxygen deficient environment artificially, uh, still, sir, it doesn't have a place to get uh, organic food and vegetables. No, no, that is okay, but it can do. Understood. It can do because nitrogenase activity can happen, no? correct? Yes. So, sir, uh, yeah. is uh, the nitrogen fixed by uh, the uh, bacteria? Is it a, a food to it? It is a nutrition to it. The nitrogen requirement of it is fulfilled by it. Using that one, it will synthesize its amino acids. 
it will synthesize its proteins. Understood? I understood. Thank you. Done, sir. Completed, ma. Everyone. Yes, sir. Good. What is the next example in the tute for? What do you say? Me, surely, sir. Check your tute. What is the next example? Only one example there? No, sir. Mm. Another example there. Three examples there, correct? What is the second example? Tell me. Mycorrhizae. 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 Correct? Generally, the word myco stands for, it's, it's a simple word. Now you no need to worry about it. Myco standing for fungus. Rhizae, you know, rhizoid. Correct? You know rhizoid? Are you familiar to the word rhizoid? Yes, sir. Mm. Rhizoid comes from the word rhize. Rhize mean root. So myco mean? Fungus. Fungus. Rise mean? Root. Root. So it is a relationship between whom and whom? It's a relationship between whom and whom? Fungus and root. Fungus and the root. Okay. Root. So, double R is not necessary. That is a connecting word. Understood? So, root of higher plant with whom they create a symbiotic relationship. It is between whom and whom? A fungus and a Higher plant. Clear? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now, if you go for the mycorrhizae rather than no, this is the real appearance. These are the real appearances of Verzet. Mycorrhizae. Can you see lots of fungus have grown around the root region? Can you see that one? Hmm? Around the root region, 
lots of fungus has grown my co rai ze around the root region lots of fungus has grown the white color wool like material is what the white color wool like material is what fungus fungus okay what is the nutrition of fungus according to your knowledge what kind of nutrition fungus follows don't see the screen you tell me from your knowledge what kind of nutrition fungus follows your unit 3 diversity your unit 3 diversity can you tell me what kind of nutrition fungus follows organic food yeah what is the name of that nutrition <laughs> diversity anyone it is getting organic food true an organism getting organic food from another organism how do we describe that nutrition heterotroph heterotrophic nutrition so fungus follows what kind of nutrition heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition okay look at this diagram this is how the root and the fungus are related clear so fungal hyphae penetrate into the root cortex of the plant agree passing the root epidermis it is getting into the cortex of the root do you agree with it yes sir hmm. now the main benefit the main benefit now it should be mutually beneficial right it should be mutually beneficial it should be beneficial to whom both both the main benefit for the plant from fungus is 
absorption of minerals absorption of minerals okay specially especially absorption of phosphorus minerals which mineral now other minerals also they will help to absorb but majorly which mineral which mineral that plant cannot directly absorb that is the thing <laughs> now why it requires the support of the fungus why it requires the support of the fungus as plant alone cannot plant alone cannot absorb it that mean actually if you take phosphorus the absorbable form of phosphorus the absorbable form of phosphorus is h2po4 minus o hpo4 2 minus what are the absorbable forms of phosphorus what are the absorbable forms of phosphorus don't know sir now i told you no baba you didn't listen to me i was listening sir but can't remember <laughs> H tell me H two P O four minus H two P O four minus right right and see that one H two P O four minus okay sir other one H P O four two minus what are the two forms h2po4 minus and hpo4 to minus hpo4 to minus but the most available form the most available form is po4 3 minus which form po4 3 minus po4 3 minus so that is not able to be absorbed by the plant understood yes sir these ones make them to absorbable form we used to call it they are mobilizing they are mobilizing okay the minerals okay what is the role of fungus what is the role of fungus immobilized minerals that mean minerals in what form minerals in what form unabsorbable form are converted to which form mobilized absorbable form this change is done by whom fungus fungus one such mineral is major mineral others are also done what in such mineral is form phosphate other mineral is form 
which one you will give priority in the exam paper phosphate phosphate why macronutrition not only that that is in the syllabus understood that is the one written in the resource book this is whose role play fungus fungus role play. can everyone understand it uh, yes sir hmm. on the other hand from the plant it will get the organic food understood yes sir hmm. so that is the relationship between uh higher plant root and the mycorrhizae have you completed the uh, writing yes completed completed need this much points dan sir excuse me sir yes ma uh, what is meant by higher plant higher plants mean generally it is a word applied for seed plant understood okay sir in the higher level the top plants are angiosperms flowering plants clear clear sir so what is the third example what is the third example corolloid root of cycas corolloid root of cycas now when we were learning about cycas we didn't tell about what corolloid roots so in that syllabus was not there so we didn't point it here we are pointing it because it is now related in the cycas you can see certain roots growing out of the earth like coral reefs Can you see? Yes, sir. So these are called by the name coralloid. Coralloid mean coral-like roots. Void mean what is the meaning? 
Now, rhizoid, what is the meaning? Root like. It's not root, it is root like. Understood? So, coralloid, what is the meaning? Coral like. Coral like, not coral. It is like coral. Clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. In the coralloid root, if you cut the coralloid root, see this picture. Oh. Why are you coming in? It's a nice picture. Can you see a green color ring inside the coralloid root? Yes, sir. Ah. This green color component is anabina. Are you familiar to the word anabina? Are yes, you sir, Yeah, you have studied and what is it? Diversity. Uh, anabina. It's a cyanobacteria. Okay. Cyanobacteria are uh, okay. Anabina cyanobacteria has the ability of fixing nitrogen. Do you know that one? Anabina cyanobacteria has the ability of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. Do you know that? No, sir. No. Okay. You should know that. From in my diversity classes, I used to teach that one. Okay, because it's in syllabus. Without syllabus, nothing I will. That is my nature. Okay, without syllabus, why should we? Necessary things we are teaching. Hmm? Shall we go for a diagram of anabina? Hmm? In the, this is, this can be seen in anabina and nostoc. <coughs> Both will share a similar arrangement. Better we draw this one in green color. That's why I'm drawing it in green color. These ones are photosynthetic cells. What kind of cells they are? Photosynthetic. Photosynthetic cells. They are the vegetative cells. Oh, photosynthetic cells. Remember, you don't need to study the structure of all cyanobacteria. Okay. But you want to study the structure of anabina and nostoc because it's in syllabus. Here, 
there will be a special cell here there, there will be many like that but i'm just drawing one one okay in this this is vegetative cell vegetative cell what is the function of it what is the function of it major function photo synthesis this cell is called heterocyst what is the name given read the name read the name heterocyst it is nitrogen fixing to nitrogen fix what is the enzyme needed nitrogenase nitrogenase this is akinete akinete it withstand it withstand unfavorable conditions post role play post role play akinate akinate this okay surrounding it there will be a a mucus layer understood is the mucus lay o oh, mucilaginous lay so this is whose structure anabina anabina scientific name o oh, structure no stock could you please complete it excuse me sir so these are found in the corolloid roots in cycads right yeah? not only there but an anabina found anabina found in it okay
but Done, sir. Everyone completed it? Yes, sir. Can you give one more? Okay, right. Uh, done, sir. Right. Here, because of its nitrogen fixing ability, Anabina will be fixing nitrogen and that nitrogen will be benefited by the plant. Understood? Anabina will be fixing nitrogen and that nitrogen is beneficial to whom? Beneficial to whom? The cycus plant. The cycus plant. Remember, anabina is photosynthetic or non-photosynthetic? Photosynthetic. Photosynthetic. Does it need to get uh, organic food from the cycus plant? No. No. But it gets moisture. Okay. Uh, it get a residence like certain other benefits there uh, between home and home uh, for anabina from cycus. Thing it is the mutualism making ability. It won't come in everyone. Understood. Mutualism making ability, do you think everyone can undergo that? Hmm? Right. Now, Nostok also has the same structure now, correct? Will Nostok develop symbiotic associations mean no? Clear? Will Nostok develop symbiotic association mean we need to say no? That is an ability. Understood? Sir, Nostok is an amina, right? No. Nostok is another species of cyanobacteria sharing the same structure. It also has heterocyst, it also has echini, it also has vegetative cells for photosynthesis. Same structure there. Same structure there doesn't mean their abilities are same, correct? 
Yes, sir. Same structure they are doesn't mean they are abilities are same. Who can develop symbiotic association mean anabina can develop what is it? Symbiotic associations, but no stock will not do it. Clear? For all the people, all the qualities will not be there. Now, some people are there, very good in business. Yes or no? Yes, sir. You know, I am zero in business. I don't have that talent to get by something, selling to someone, mainly uh, negotiating him, satisfying him with the mouth talk by conversing with him. We have to satisfy a person, right, in business. Somehow he has to agree, okay, I will buy you a good. Yes or no? Uh, yes, sir. I don't have it. That is a talent. All the talents are not there for all the people, right? Yes. That's why some people are top in the marketing field. Looking at a marketeer, if you be think, okay, he is earning lakhs and lakhs of money by marketing. I also will become a marketeer, mean, will it be possible? Can't. Can't. Looking at a teacher, ah, he is earning this much income by teaching. I also will become a teacher, possible? Eh? Can't. No. Can't. Different talents. Okay, different talents. So, Anabina has a talent of involving symbiosis with other organisms, not only with coral roid roots. Anabina involves uh, in, okay, Anabina can be noticed in several symbiotic associations. This is one symbiotic association. You can see Anabina. What is it? Lichen. Lichen. You have heard the word, what is it? Lichen. In it, anabina stays with whom? Fungus. Fungus. Okay. There's another relationship. It is called Azolla anabina relationship. Azolla is a fern. Azolla is an aquatic fern. You know Anabina, correct? You know Anabina. So, when you see this, what can you understand is, Anabina naturally has a nature joining some others and living together, correct? Yes, sir. But that you can't see in the nostoc. So these are also what kind of relationships? These are also what kind of relationships? Symbiosis. Symbiosis, but in this one, no uh, higher plant. Uh, no, azolla is a fern. Fern is a plant, no, correct? But when you consider lichen, is a Symbiotic association between a microorganism and a microorganism. Agree? It is a symbiotic association between a microorganism and a microorganism. Just keep these two as additional examples.
Then, sir. Good. <clears throat> so, all these are examples for whom all these ones we discuss regarding which relationship? Mutualism. Mutualism. Now, finishing mutualism, we are coming to the, what is it? Commensalism. In the commensalism, two organisms, different species, live together. It is benefiting one organism. Other organism is not benefited. Other organism is not harmed. No benefit, what is it? No harm. Clear? Are you clear? Yes. yes. Right. Now see, in this one, there is an epiphyte plant there. What it is? It is an epiphyte plant. An orchid is shown to you. It's an epiphyte. It is staying on the branch of a tree. It is the support plant. Understood? What are the two organisms here? What are the two organisms here? Epiphyte and a support. Epiphyte and the support plant. For epiphyte, some benefits are there. One benefit, because it is living on the support plant, it is able to stay in a particular height and able to collect light efficiently. What is the first benefit? <clears throat> what is the first benefit? <clears throat> can get enough light. Can get enough light efficiently because it is situated in a higher place. Clear? Clear, yes, sir. Mm. Another benefit it is from this support plant, if box like things get detached, until they are detached, nothing. Naturally, now for an example, we go to a saloon and take a haircut. Correct? The hairs cut by the saloon person, he gathers those hairs, correct? So when so many people come, some people get, get a long hair cut, long cuts will be there, short cuts will be there. So many hairs are getting collected. Okay. So after cutting the hair, do we consider about that lost hair? No. No. But you know one thing. The saloon people collect them and sell them. You understood? Yes, sir. For them, it is a side income. Okay, in India, in India, you know, there is an area called Tirupadi. You know, Tirupadi, have you heard about it? Tirupadi. Okay, in Tirupadi, there is a temple. Okay, when you go for Tirupadi temple, okay, people come there to donate their 
chaos to donate they grow their hairs tall long okay very feared in searching words can you see this what she is surrounded by what she is surrounded by yeah. hairs donated hairs long hairs they donate these hairs were hairs are uh, collected by the temple and sold for and sold for cosmetic industries like wig making clear yes so using them for income is it a loss for the man who donates that hair no no like that after some box detach from this plant these epiphytic plants secrete enzymes on them digest them and absorb the nutrients from them clear clear then who is the benefiting organism here epiphyte the epiphyte the epiphyte is benefiting organism here okay for the support plant for the support plant from the epiphyte no any benefit there same time no any harm there understood clear yes sir hmm. just put these two words and let's move Cancer. Completed. Right. What is parasitism? Here, one plant is benefited. One organism is benefited. Other organism is. one organism is benefited other organism is read and see one organism is benefited other organism is harmed hmm. then only it is described as parasitism in the parasitism with respect to plants okay there are parasitic plants there understood who are there parasitic plants are there plants are living as what's it parasites 
one example this plant what is the plant's name read the name of the plant what is the plant's name read the name of the plant loranthus loranthus other one it is the well known name for the cascuta or oh, it is also called by the name dodder plant clear here who are working as parasites who are the ones parasites plants are parasites understood are you clear yes sir. yes good right have you marked the parasitic plants have you marked them as parasitic plants Yeah. Then, sir. Uh... Hmm. Once again. coming to this right here say this is the bark of a host plant okay this is the bark of a host plant inside the bark there are vascular bundles xylem phloem xylem phloem this is that okay from the on the bark cascuta plant is growing in the cascuta plant you will see some nodes like structures in the cascuta plant you will not see any leaves any uh, roots you will not see from this place structures called costoria are directed to the xylem and the phloem what is this one what is xylem. this xylem from the xylem this is the what is it host plants structure this is the parasite this is the parasite these structures are called hostoria what is the name given hostoria okay from use in the hostoria from the xylem it will collect water and minerals from the phloem it will collect organic substances like sucrose amino acids understood everything what it want it will collect from the host plant and live who is this plant cascuta cascuta 
because it gets everything what it wants it is called a, a parasite or complete parasite understood yes sir are you clear is it clear for all yes sir clear good you can complete the diagram You can make a heading, Kaskota, and mark the David. In Kaskota plant, white color or purple color flowers will appear. It's a flowering plant. Why? Hmm. Why you came? I will later install. Phone is telling to install. Purple color flowers will appear. White flowers also will be there. Some species make purple flowers. Some species make. Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, what yeah. are the function? Uh, what is the function of that nodes in the uh, cascade of plant? No, that is actually not. There's no any function there. Actually, the leaves have turned that way. Understood? Uh, okay. Non-functional leaves there. Uh, understood, sir. Thank you. Done, sir. Completed. Uh, sir, can you give one more minute? Okay, no problem. Done, sir. Done. Now, how it is going to be home? 
Lorand first. Okay. How it is going to be Loranthus? If you take Loranthus, Loranthus is a green leafy plant. Okay. So if it's a green leafy plant, what will you understand? It is photosynthetic. Correct. So that means Cascuta is not photosynthetic, right? Cascuta is not photosynthetic. Okay. okay. Cascuta is not photosynthetic. So if you take Loranthus, if this is the bark of home, the host plant, Loranthus will grow on the first plant. Here are the vascular bundles. As usual, xylem and parzate. Ploema then. Cascuta, sorry, Loranthus is growing making what is it leaves in it so conformly it doesn't need to depend on the host plant for organic food agree so it has to send its hostoria it has to send its hostoria only to whom? Only to whom? Cascuta plant. Cas yeah, only to Cascuta plant? Xylem. Only to which part of the host plant? Xylem. Xylem. Does it need to extend the hostoria to the phloem? Hmm? No. No, no. Here, no, really, you need to see them practically. Okay. This is how its flowers appear. Okay. Its flowers appear in this manner having green color and extension understood this is how its fruits appear expectation is students need to Practically observe home these plants. But we study everything theoretically now. Okay. In candy, you have home. In candy, you have cascuta, you have loranthus. Okay. But the present situation is very much worse to go and search for things. Okay, I want to go to Candy Town to buy some papers, but I didn't go. These people are spreading, we will be expecting cards, that and this. So, what is this plant? Loranthus. Why it is described as semi-parasitic? Why it is described as semi-parasitic? Can someone tell me why it is described as semi-parasitic?
Hafsa, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Why it is semi-parasitic? Maybe it doesn't kill the host plant. No, no, it will kill the host plant. It is getting only water and minerals, not getting any food, right? Clear? Water and minerals are food, right? Yeah, water minerals they get. That is enough to kill them. Understood? That is enough to kill them. I, I have seen Loranthus killing host plants. I have removed several Loranthus plants from the host plants. Understood? Very tough to remove. Very tough to remove. But I have removed it. I used to tell this one, no, for you it is knowledge, for me it is for me it is experience. Experience. Right, that's the difference. That is not the bigger thing, you also can gain experience, but the strategy of learning at the moment are not fitting. Really, I planned the practical side of it very strongly, but ultimately it failed because of this panic situation in our country. Let's go ahead. Complete it. So why Kaskuta is a complete parasite? Why Loranthus is a semi-parasite, partial parasite? Kaskuta absorbs all uh, water, minerals and food, uh, but uh, Loranthus only absorbs water and minerals. Minerals, that's what. Nice. You can complete. Postoria. So what is the flower color of Loranthus? Purple. Purple. What is the fruit color of Loranthus? Yellow. Yellow.
Done, sir. Have you completed it? Katmana? Done, sir. Completed. Yeah, sir. Completed. Yeah. So you can see in this diagram, the left side diagram shows you home. Yellow color fruits, green color leaves. What is it? What is this diagram representing? Loranthus. Loranthus. Then this is automatically representing? Cascuta. Cascuta. In the cascu, you can see cascuta is growing. With, you can see some green plants here, right? And they are the host plant. Clear? So label this, this one as Lorenzas. So mark it as, mark this one as Lorenzas and mark this one as Cascuta. Danza. Good, good, good. So do the short questions. Okay. Do the short questions. Um, if doubts exist, don't keep aside. Ask me. I will clarify you. Soon you complete the short questions on Cyprus. Tell me. Inshallah, I will give you the uh, short questions on angiosperm life cycle. Understood? Yes. Okay, sir. And the follow works. There are many other works there, Puta. There are many other works to follow up. Okay. After you complete the short questions, I will give you those works. Clear? Okay. okay. So okay. I have a point out. Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, the, uh, can you uh, like uh, give a small brief description on the micro I say, uh, thing? Uh, I didn't understand that part. So. I will tell you. Okay. Honestly, uh, other, okay. If you take mycorrhizae, in the mycorrhizae, that yeah, is my pen. If this is the higher plant root, okay. If this is the higher plant root, fungal filaments are, fungal filaments will penetrate into the higher plant root okay and they will form a network inside the higher plant root like this okay in the soil you know there are Clay particles. Am I right? Yes. These clay particles are negatively charged, and these clay particles hold the minerals with them. Understood? Yes. Minerals are attached to home. This is longer explanation okay minerals are attached to home the positively charged the uh, positive minerals oh it is really in the clay is negative silicate okay yes. and there will be attachment of minerals like this now the greater challenge it is when the minerals are attached to it they are immobile minerals Understood? Yes. It is due to one reason, the negative charge of home. And the clay body. Negative charge of the clay. Other one is the basic 
nature of the soil, uh, soil medium. Understood? Now these fungal filaments secrete chemicals to detach home these minerals from the clay by changing these situations. Understood? Yes. So the minerals are now coming to, what's it? The mobile component. Then only the plant root hairs can absorb them. Did you understand it? Yeah, I did. Yes. So, the immobile minerals are attached minerals, non-movable minerals. They are made to, what's it? Mobile form, absorbable form by the chemicals secreted by the mycorrhizae fungal filaments. No need to take any one of this, just an explanation. Okay. Clear? Akmana, clear? Uh, yeah, clear, sir. One more uh, thing, sir. Uh, hmm. When it comes to that uh, phosphate uh, yeah. thing, I'm phosphate, it has a different story. Phosphate, the absorbable forms are, what's it? H2PO4 minus N, HPO4, what's it? 2 minus. 2 minus. But the mostly available form in the soil is home. PO4 3 minus. PO4 3 minus. By changing the pH, PO4 3 minus is converted into one of this. Uh, okay. Then only it is able to absorb it. Clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, understood. Sir. Mm. Yeah. Clear, sir. Thank you very okay. much. Sir. Okay, welcome.